Peace. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is the first Jed's Moto video of 2019, and I'm going to do a review, a long-term review. I'm retiring uh, on my Gringo S, my Biltwell Gringo S. I uh, purchased this helmet two years ago. I wanted something retro, comfortable, um, and in the last two years, I put about 50,000 miles on this helmet, maybe a little touch more, maybe closer to 55,000. Um, and I uh, just want to kind of go over the pros cons that I've had with the helmet, um, yeah, things to look out for, uh, but all in all, it's a pretty positive review. So uh, I'll be retiring it this year. I replace my helmets every two years, uh, which is about 40, 50,000 miles, um, <clears throat> just because I run a lot of miles, so I get a lot of UV exposure, and uh, you know, so it's just time to replace. Uh, so the Gringo S, uh, first you can kind of notice that this bolt is uh, different than this bolt. Uh, the helmet f did lose its bolt on my big 1,000 mile ride I did this year on uh, my Triumph Bonneville T120. Uh, it's more like 930 miles or something like that. It wasn't quite a full 1,000, but it was a good day. It was like a 16 hour ride. And uh, uh, I lost it on my way from Indiana back to Vermont around Ohio, the Cleveland, Ohio mark, uh, going right into uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I remember because I had to pull over for the Erie exit to try to repair the helmet because uh, this bolt went missing. So one thing to look out for on these helmets is really to make sure that you buy replacement bolts just in case and keep them on you because these things will rattle loose. Um, but right now, and use Loctite, I use some Loctite uh, or some fingernail uh, polish, uh, polish, you know, paint, and that acts as a really good Loctite too. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're looking to keep this helmet right at long distances, that these bolts are susceptible to coming loose. Um, but just so you know, the face shield is original. As you can see, it's got some wear on the inside, on the edges here. Uh, you can kind of see how the chrome edging here is kind of wearing. Um, the S is the premium. Uh, I'm actually going to be going with a built well this year. Uh, so you can see that there's no chrome here. Obviously no shield. This is just a built well, built well gringo. Um, so I'll be using it this year. Uh, you can kind of get the theme that I'm going to be kind of changing my riding style a little bit this year. I'm going to be exploring, doing some adventure riding. Um, I'm going to try to anyways. So uh, back to the, the gringo S because this is what the review is all about. Uh, the helmet is exceptionally light. Uh, believe it or not, it breathes very well. Uh, the sound quality is pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, there's no seal. However, I have ridden in rain, torrential rain with this helmet, and I have to say, I can, it, it doesn't fog up uh, like other helmets do. Um, I've, never, I've, I've come from uh, open face kind of work realm, and I've graduated to a full face helmet just because of, if you look at the statistics of helmets, um, most accidents, if you're going to hit your face, happen in the chin area. So this is why I went with a full face, and I'm continuing with a full face. Uh, but it does give you that open face feel because there's just no seal. Now, there's also a lot of wind noise, especially in high RPM. Or not high RPM, high, high speeds. But all in all, i got to say, for, for you know, uh, a semi-inexpensive helmet, you know, the, the, at, at the uh, Bell replace. Um, Equivalent is the uh, the bullet, and um, I liked my bell. I had a bell. I didn't have a bullet. I had the uh, the custom, which was just the open faces, because I said I come from open face, and I wanted that cut, you know, that retro look and the comfort of a of, an, of a lightweight helmet. And I gotta say, Biltwell did a great job on this. Uh, other than the bolts, I can't really make have other grievances. I mean, yeah, the wind noise is pretty bad. Um, I've been in some other helmets where, you know, the wind noise is much less noisy, but, um, I was kind of going for that open face feel just because I love riding open face, open visor. <clears throat> I just love having the wind on my face. So the helmet does, does this pretty well. As you can see, there's a couple places where, you know, you can detach and take out your liners and clean them. Uh, I never did because I'm gross, I guess, but. Um, the thing fit well, uh, fits really good on my head. I have a smaller head. This is a medium and it fit perfect. 
Um, I've noticed that some other helmet brands like HJC kind of don't fit me correctly, uh, but the, uh, the Gringo definitely fit me very well. Um, all in all, is a decent helmet. Uh, I would give it, uh, I'm gonna give it another go. I got this, this Gringo, it's not an S, but I got this Gringo uh, for Christmas and uh, last year, and I never actually used it because I ended up using this for two full seasons. It was just such a great helmet and it didn't show any signs of wear and tear. I mean, I could probably run it one more season, but with the amount of UV radiation that the helmet kind of endured in the last two years or, you know, 55,000 miles, um, I don't really trust that shell anymore as much as I would trust a freshie. So, um, you know, it's just time to put her to sleep. And uh, yeah, that was my, my review here. I have nothing but good things to say about the Gringo S. Um, if you're looking for a well budget helmet, you know, a nice budget, good value, good look, um, you know, that it's just one of the best for value I've had for helmets. So uh, I've gone from all sorts of different brands. And I just, like I said, this one really captures that, that, that what it was like to ride a motorcycle. It wasn't all about the tech and it wasn't all about, you know, the vents and, you know, it was all about just the rawness and, and the fresh, it just captures that fresh air. Yeah, it's loud, but you know, it's what motorcycling is all about for me. And it, that helmet really is the best full face that feels like an open face that you can get on the market. Definitely for value. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. I will um, go over my new gringo on another episode um, and, uh, you know, kind of talk about what my, my future goals are for riding this year. Um, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be doing my crazy 30,000 mile seasons this year uh, just because of time constraints and stuff. So, but there's my review. Thanks for tuning in. Those that have subscribed, I really appreciate the support through the last year. It's been a very interesting year, uh, pushing Jed's Moto, trying to get in my groove, figure out where I'm going with the with the platform. And uh, you know, I really kind of have an idea, and you'll know more to come when we move through the next year. Thanks for tuning in. Have an awesome day. Sheep at shiny side up, folks. If those who are riding, best.